good day everyone and welcome to class today i'll be teaching you how to make that beautiful crinoline fascinator and it is made on a turban so it's called a turbanator what i'll be making use of is called crinoline and the length of this crinoline is 88 inches and the width is seven and a half so it's 88 inches by seven and a half So now I'll gather the edge of the crinoline and secure it with my thread. The essence of securing it is so that it won't freeze because crinoline freezes a lot. So you secure it well and tie it very well. Then even use needle to secure it and tie before cutting it away. Then the same thing you do for this side, you do same for the other end as well you secure it having done that you having done that like securing the two edges you hold the edges like you know it has two sides you bring those two sides together and then make running stitches from the beginning to the end just watch what i'm doing make running stitches please be sure your thread is uh, tied at the knot is knotted then you continue making your gathers continue making the loose stitches So as you are making the gathers, you'll be drawing the thread. You see, as I'm drawing it, it's forming the shape I want it to form. It's forming the design. So as you gather, you draw until you get to the last end. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? What are you waiting for? Please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload new videos we have a lot to dish out so please the only thing you can do to encourage us is to subscribe like and share thank you so after drawing it the edge the last edge you put your needle inside then you tack it down you pass the needle back look at what i'm doing you pass the needle back to where it started from the essence of doing this is just to secure it so that it won't easily lose then and also to form a design you see it that's one then the other edge too you pass the needle back again pass the needle back again yes it's ready so you knot it you cut it and secure it please tie this very well tie it multiple times as much as you can just keep tying until you are tired of tying then you cut and this is a crinoline it's called fascinator too like this you can put your band on it you can put your elastic on it you can put it on a turban or any how you want, whatever you want to use it to embellish for me i'm using it to embellish this turban please if you have not watched the video on how to make a turban without a sewing machine kindly click on the link below and watch it because i made this turban without a sewing machine and it's very easy to make so i secure it the open edge there I'll just use it to cover it and secure it well. Secure it well. Check it. Is it okay? If my customer give me this, will I be will I love it? Look at it very well before you now do your final tacking. And it's ready. So I'll wear it on my dummy and I'll do the final finishing. 
So in order to cover this rough edge, I'm going to use feathers to cover it. So I'll place my feathers on it. I'll secure it with my thread. I need to thread. I'll use it to tack it down. Once I know the position I want to put it on the dummy, I tack it down. Please tack well so it won't remove. Tack well, tack well. So for this edge, I'll, I bought this flower from a store. So I'll use it to cover the remaining rough edges. It, I put my gum. You can use UHU gum, but for me, I enjoy using this blue gum because it has a lasting effect on work. Our cap is ready. Please practice and submit your own. Thank you.